back on Highway 1 and continuing our Central California Coast road trip, this time, where else but Big Sur. Big Sur is so large and expansive, many people are confused when they come here. They're not exactly sure where to stop, what to see, what to photograph, so we're going to make it really easy for you on today's episode. We're going to get out of the car a lot and show you the highlights of Big Sur. I think there's actually four of them, uh, but all of Big Sur is amazing. I live in Southern California, so I'm a little biased, so we're going to start in the south and go from basically right outside Cambria to right outside Carmel by the Bixby Bridge. Right now we're in Ragged Point, which is the, the official welcome to Big Sur, and we've got a big trip in front of us, so come on, let's go. Now we're gonna do this photo walk a little differently by showing you these four key highlights, Ragged Point, Nepenthe, Pfeiffer Beach, and Bixby Bridge, and then we'll offer quick glimpses of the other photo ops as well, and there are many of them. The important thing is to get out of the car often. Please don't be one of those people who just sails right through looking out the window because you're gonna miss too much. If you have the time to spend a weekend and go for some hikes, um, I just would recommend giving yourself time here rather yeah. than just, just a drive through if right. you can do it. And side note, there's very little wireless reception in Big Sur, so don't even think about checking your social media or backing up your photos while in the car. You can do that when you get to Carmel. Now, speaking of backup, you know that I use the Smug Mug app to back up all my smartphone photos automatically. Rates start at $75 yearly, and unlike Apple and Google, which charge $10 monthly for two terabytes of service, Smug Mug is unlimited, so you don't have to worry about nag messages telling you that you've run out of room. You can take all the photos you would like. And of course, speaking of photos, let's get snapping. Ragged point, here we come. It's basically the gateway to Big Sur for those of us from the South, the first stop. Now photo wise, three key shots. The first is the obvious establishing photo, welcome to Big Sur right in front of the Ragged Point Inn. Two, that round circle structure that frames the north coast. It's hard to mess that up unless there's a shadow on the circle. Get the shot with the circle in it. Get the shot putting the camera right through it. Three, a basic shot of the coast, which always looks stunning. Aside from that, there's a serious hike down 400 feet to the water. And if you don't feel like climbing back up, you can always stand here and enjoy the view. Plus, you can buy gas here. It sounds like a small detail, but trust me, it's important. The drive is really special. My one piece of advice is hit the gas station and the restroom before you start the drive. Because right. <laughs> you're going to go 80 miles and not find another good place to stop. Going up the road, highlights include Lime Kiln State Park and Julia Pfeiffer Burns State Park and the McQuay Falls. But don't be confused by this. Our number two must stop is Pfeiffer Beach, just up the road from Julia Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer Beach is the most popular beach in Big Sur, but I dare say if you haven't been here before, you'll never find it. It is down an unmarked road. The only clue is narrow road, no pedestrians, no RVs, no trailers, two miles down there and you pay your fee to get in. only 64 parking spaces here including all of the ADA parking so because of that um, we have just been overloaded here in the summertime I know we turn away approximately 14 to 1500 cars a day that don't make it down in one wow. day's time Wow mm hmm yeah and it's to get a selfie in front of the keyhole rock pretty much and yeah. and to look at the purple sand if you do get a spot, once you park, you'll get out of the car and take a long walk down to the beach. A nice walk.
beach. Now sunset is obviously the optimum time if you can swing it and find a place to park for your keyhole rock shot. You want to get the sun peering through the opening. If you're not there at the optimum time, try a long exposure to make the water milky. That's a really easy thing to do with an app like Even Longer or Spectre. Or with Apple's live photos, just turn it on and click the drop down menu for long exposure. Next up, photo spot number three. The Penthe looking south of here and then you'll get uh, two or three points uh, you'll get to see all in one photo. So that iconic shot of Big Sur that Dave the Jade Maker talked about is right here at Nepenthe. You can't miss it. It's right over there. It's a fantastic place to sit outside and have lunch, and by the way, the food is really good too. The view from Nepenthe, it's a hard one on a smartphone as it's a good deal down the road. If you have a recent smartphone with a telephoto lens, try it and see how you do, or just get a nice wide shot looking south. Oh, the bridge is amazing. Honestly, it's gonna be, it's probably one of the highlights of the trips. This is where else but Bixby Bridge, one of the major photo spots in Big Sur. People love being photographed on the bridge, by the bridge. They love taking pictures of the bridge. They've seen it on so many movies and TV shows. Let's explore Bixby Bridge. Most people pull into the parking lot and shoot the bridge straight on, which is a great shot. Here's a few other choices. First, you could walk down the hill and get a shot looking up, it's kind of nice, or cross the street and walk up the hill just a little bit to get that other angle. I'm not crazy for the wires that stick out, so you'll need to walk up a little further to get on the other side of the wires. But if you want what I think is one of the best shots, here's a little secret. A local told me that if I was willing to drive up the road a whole bunch, it's a dirt road, it's fine, your car will be fine, you can look down at the bridge, and if you have a telephoto lens or a drone, the shot's going to be absolutely awesome. For you selfie fans, do me a favor, please don't do this shot, it's just not safe. Well, this is Rocky Point and the end of the road for our Big Sur adventure. Thanks again for watching. Monterey and Carmel are right up that way, and we will get there on an upcoming episode. For now, any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments below. Hit me up on Twitter or Instagram, where I'm at Jefferson Graham. Please subscribe to Photo Walks TV right here on YouTube, and I will see you on the next Photo Walk. Bye-bye. Next time on Photo Walks TV, we continue our Highway 1 journey. Next stop, Carmel by the Sea.